Statistics is the science that deals with the collection, organization, analysis, simulation, and interpretation of data. Statisticians and data scientists work with real data, which tend to be complex, messy, and big, but at the same time hold the power to understand the world, predict future events, and much more. My name is Mark Genton, and I am the chair of the statistics program. Welcome to the statistics program at the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, or KAUST in brief. On the western shores of the Red Sea, KAUST offers superb research facilities together with unmatched living conditions for individuals and families. The top quality research facilities have succeeded in attracting the best international faculty, scientists, engineers, postdocs and students, making KAUST into the only university worldwide where fundamental goal-oriented and curiosity-driven research is employed to address the world's most pressing challenges related to water, food and energy sustainability, as well as the impact on the environment. The statistics program educates students to analyze and model complex real-world problems arising in modern statistical data science. Nowadays, statistics crosses the borders of a vast array of disciplines, offering conceptual and practical frames to design scientific investigations, to model real phenomena, to predict events and quantify uncertainty out of an unprecedented amount of data made available by the exponential increase in the size of datasets. Statistics applications range from environmental analysis and extreme climatic events to the optimization of renewable energy production, geophysics, marine and human biology, as well as medical investigation that could bring a paradigm shift in healthcare practices. The statistics program offers two degrees, the MS degree, with or without a final thesis, and the PhD degree. For both degrees, students have the opportunity to study in various areas such as patient statistics, big data, biostatistics, computational statistics, data visualization, environmental statistics, extreme events, spatial and spatial-temporal statistics, statistical data science, and time series analysis. The statistics program offers a very flexible courses where, besides traditional statistics courses, students can tailor their educational experience to meet individual research and educational objectives by taking courses from the computer science, applied mathematics and electrical engineering programs. The interdisciplinary character of the program allows students to study and carry out research projects of global relevance and to engage in international collaborations. Next, I would like to describe the research groups of some of our statistics core faculty. The Extreme Statistics Research Group of Professor Raphael Huser mainly focuses on statistical modeling and inference for extreme events with various applications in environmental science and finance. This research group develops a novel methodology to better assess the risk and understand the stochastic behavior of rare events such as heavy rainfall, heat waves, strong wind gusts, stock market crashes, in order to better predict their potential impact. An example of Professor Huser's work is a statistical model for understanding weather extremes. The model was tested using landslide data from a real event in 2009, the disaster in Messina, Italy, induced by a storm of extraordinary intensity. The model generated highly accurate maps of the disaster zone and if applied to weather forecasts, could help prevent disasters in the future. Statistics is not only about forecasting, but also about helping take the right decision. The Bayesian Computational Statistics and Modeling Research Group of Professor Howard Rue develops tools for scientists to better understand real-world problems and provides access to policymakers to reliable data for taking important decisions affecting many aspects of life from health and the environment to the economy and social issues. Professor Rue works to extend the scope and applicability of latent Gaussian models. 
The class of latent Gaussian models contains most of the main statistical models and is used in environmental biological, ecological and epidemiology applications, to name a few. The research tasks in the group range from methodological developments to efficient implementation strategies, culminating in the R inla software. Some current projects are to construct new computationally efficient space-time models, implement more efficient complex survival models, and provide computational developments towards a parallel computing paradigm. Professor Rue is a pioneer in the field of computational Bayesian statistics, a method that applies probabilities to statistical problems, leading to faster and more accurate predictions. His work focuses on the application of integrated nested Laplace approximation, INLA, an approach for undertaking Bayesian inference that updates conclusions that are drawn from statistical models in the light of new data. For example, the R in La Toolbox was used to analyze a database containing data from more than 4,300 cities in 100 plus countries to model the health and environmental impacts from air pollution. Air pollution is a major risk factor for global health, with 4.2 million deaths annually attributed to fine particulate matter pollution. Thanks to R in La, air pollution analysis have been made possible for the first time on a global scale. Statistics is also understanding ourselves as human beings. The Biostatistics Research Group of Professor Hernando Ambao uses observations of the brain's response to repeated stimuli to develop a method for modeling connectivity patterns in neural networks. Neuroscientists believe that change in brain activation and connectivity are associated with learning and habituation, where the brain's response to repeated stimulus evolves over time. However, there are currently no statistical model that can rigorously characterize this response. Professor Ombau and his team are developing models to understanding brain activity and package them in a usable way for physicians and neuroscientists, making complex statistical models available to everyone. Professor Ombau's work is fundamental for better understanding of the brain function and for improving diagnosis and treatment of brain diseases and mental disorders. Statistics is also a way to scale down to human size and understanding the large phenomena taking place in the environment around us. The Environmental Statistics Research Group led by Professor Ingsun is dedicated to developing statistical models and methods for complex data to address important environmental problems. Professor Swen's group focuses on exploring every aspect of spatial temporal and functional data analysis from developing informative graphical tools for functional data to building computationally efficient yet physically realistic models for natural spatial temporal processes. Professor Swan's research has found a broad array of environmental applications through interdisciplinary collaborations. Predictions of climate and weather relies on statistical models that can capture viability at one location over time as well as the relationship with other geographical locations. Sometimes, future conditions at one location can be predicted from the current conditions at another location, while in other cases there may be no such correlation. The assumption of whether two sites are covariant is one way or another can have profound implication for the accuracy of the statistical model, and so the choice of space-time covariance is crucial. This method is useful for data that are observed sparsely in space and densely in time, which is often the case for observations from weather stations, for example. Finally, my own research group works on spatial temporal statistics and data science. Our aim is to develop sound statistical analysis, modeling, prediction and uncertainty quantification of spatial temporal data with application in environmental and climate science, renewable energies, geophysics and marine science. Of particular interest to my group is the assessment of Saudi Arabia's wind energy resources using high-resolution spatial temporal stochastic generators. Our studies serve as a guide for the development of renewable energy targets as part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 plans. 
The interdisciplinary research carried out in the individual statistics faculty research groups is complemented by the KAUS core lab facilities and the research centers and spans across the university and into international collaborations with industry and research institutions. Our sought-after graduates easily find jobs in the industry as statisticians and data scientists or continue their academic career at universities throughout the world. Due to the growth of big data, machine learning and artificial intelligence, jobs for statisticians and data scientists are expected to grow by an amazing 34% in the next five years. Come to KAUST to study statistics, the science of learning from data, and prepare yourself for a career in one of the world's most in-demand scientific fields. It has never been more important to study statistics. Statistics is not just about analyzing data or numbers. It is about understanding the world around us. The diversity of statistics means that you can use and apply your education in statistics to nearly any area that you are passionate about, such as the environment, healthcare, finance, sports, or practically any field. On behalf of the statistics program at KAUST, I invite you to join us on this exciting journey to become a statistician and data scientist.